but I thought y'all would just want to see it naked. No, yeah, yeah everyone I mean. wants to see it this naked. <laughs> Hey, real quick before we start this video, a lot of you guys have been asking for team shirts. Finally, Auto House has t-shirts. So it would really help out a lot if you supported the shop, got some merch, some shirts, stickers, support the media work, support me and my dog. Check out that merch store so I don't starve, you guys. Is it okay to open the passenger door? Yeah, man, okay. open it all up. I'll get it all open for you. Okay, awesome. All right. Get the hatch open. So weird without the glass. Yo, it's a, it's a funny thing. <clears throat> what? I guess so. It's just a, it just replaces the whole hatch. Yup, just okay. bolts right on, like the original hatch. I put the hatch, you know, put my hatch in the box that this came in, and uh, it bolts up just like factory. The glass is all tempered, so it's got a defrost in the back. This is. Uh, I didn't even realize. Yeah, it's got the lines like. Factory. Yeah. So it was manufactured by like the heavy industries in Japan. So Gretti basically contracted this out to like Fuji to make it or somebody like that. And so it's basically OEM. It's just not original. And uh, they made it real serious. It's got the trim, like this nice plastic trim inside. And uh, it's all sturdy when you get these like composite hatches. They're not finished on the inside because they're race car parts, but this one has like all the trim snaps in, it's wired up, and it's really sturdy, you know, it's, it, I gotta have the pogo stick because the hatches, the, the struts will almost keep it up. They're just like so close to doing the job. And, uh, but they just can't, they just can't barely do it, so. Do you have to remember, like, what was the difference in weight? Uh, I didn't measure it up. But Do I'd you say, what, like, what it felt like? Was it noticeably heavier? No, it's it's oh. pretty close. It's like uh, maybe ten pounds. Yep. Yeah, it's not. You know, it's polycarbonate. It's the glass that makes it heavy. You're glad you're saying that. So they they just didn't make many of them. It was the '90s uh, Japan economy burst, and oh yeah, they're like uh, it was expensive and they're weird looking. Yeah. So it just didn't take off and. But now it's like the coolest thing here. So. <laughs> I, I'm so happy I You'll found one. I only one. know of like three or four or five of them running around. Uh, one in Thailand, one in Japan. There's somebody running around with one in the States, but I, they're not online, so I can't catch them. Really good garage build. I didn't yeah. realize it was a commercial project. Oh, I wish I could do it's composites so like that. Yeah. They're, they're, I, I watch the people that do all that custom composite yeah, work and uh, you know, steel brake lines and yeah. all the gate, you know, gauges are all wired in there cool but it's as far as like horsepower goes it's bone stock so. but it's been a good car we just we got it from the original owner he's a book owner or a, a children's book author in north carolina really cool dude made us drink a bunch of whiskey when we drove it away he was like like a, seriously like three fingers of whiskey and then we drove his car away we we're like all right buddy was, was that right after the whiskey <laughs> Yeah, man. Could we watch you uh, shift through the gears? Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. No, no, no. That's what I got to do. I got to, I was patiently got to run in my mouth. He gets to talking. So, here, you can come on right in. It's got this indicator right here. And so that's pretty cool, so you don't wonder which gear you're in. All right, nice. But you just, awesome. just rip through the gears like that. You know, no Where's more front back. At? It's uh, right in the center of the steering oh, column. Oh, I see, I yeah, see. Yeah, it's yeah, mounted it's on the steering column. Hold on. Is that an actual sequential transmission, or is that doodad somehow changing the stop yeah. in a sequential way? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a robot that sits on top of the factory shifter. Which and one? and this, this thing, and so underneath of this thing, it's an H pattern. It's a five speed. It's a stock transmission. But this robot yes. makes it go front and back only. <laughs> oh, that's magic. She does a little better when she's spinning up. And so this little sensor on the side lets it know what, what gear it's in, but it's a little touchy. You never miss the two, three again. You just grab it and go, <laughs> right? That's the yeah. thing, you know, these things twist up. Everybody in the RX-7 has a hard time grabbing third because you got to get over from second up. But with this thing, you just 
just grab it and go. Put it in, got this gate, put it in reverse, you know. So it's pretty cool. It's been a lot of fun to play with.